Hey, what's up? This is JK Swopes. I just want to talk to you about my experience taking the SSCP exam. Um, I came back to taking this exam after I took a break from studying for this exam to do the Cisco Cyber Ops. Um, there's a lot of overlap. I'm definitely glad that I did the Cisco Cyber Ops in between um, studying for this one and then coming back to it because this one is more of a, a higher level, um, a broader view, not as much uh in the weeds technical stuff as far as like knowing how to use specific tools and different things like that but it's just kind of like you know a really broad um it, there's definitely a lot of information you definitely have to be technical to understand it but it's not so much that you need to know specific tools or different things when comparing it to the cisco styros but anyway the main reason that i wanted to take this exam and the main reason I actually started studying for this one last year is because not only am I interested in other ISC squared exams, you know, CISSP and stuff like that. I thought this would kind of get me into the, the mindset of ISC squared, um, but also the stuff that they have as far as uh, professional development, like the different trainings and things that you get access to when you become a member. I thought that stuff was really cool. So I look at this as not only the certification, but also a way to kind of help me um, kind of gain more knowledge in different areas and things like that. Now, um, a little bit of background, I've been, you know, help desk, sysadmin, um, network engineer, and stuff like that. So I did have background before taking this exam. So just kind of keep that in mind when I'm talking about the different uh, resources and things that I use. But mainly, I just want to talk about, show you, I guess, show you some of the resources that I use and my experience with the exam overall. I will say um, compared to Cisco CyberOps, again, I um, mean, it wasn't super uh specific on terms of tools but everything that's covered in the exam um it's a broad um, base of knowledge it's definitely a lot there from physical security to software security um to you know obviously different i guess risk management um procedures and different things like that so i really like the overall feel of the exam i really like the overall knowledge that you gain from it um I don't know if it's something that I would suggest going into um, without any type of experience, but I, I mean, you probably could if you study, there's a lot of material out there. You could probably learn it. Um, but I think what helped me is my sysadmin background. I have done some security stuff, even though I haven't held a strictly security um, position. I have done security and things like that. So a lot of that helped. And like I said, the overlap with cyber ops, but let me show you some of the, the materials I use. So let's get into that. All right. So obviously um, kind of similar to what I did with the Cisco Cyber Ops. I did refer to this one as much, but being that I just kind of went through this one, I, I put this up here because I felt like this, having this and taking this and preparing for this exam helped me as well. But I did get the all-in-one SSCP. Um, this was a really good book. Uh, I went through the whole book, did a bunch of highlights. So you see a bunch of highlights. I went through the, you know, the assessment questions and I would answer the questions at the end and i would use this in collaboration with the different videos and stuff that i was watching so um yeah definitely good stuff so let me kind of show you some of the digital resources that i used as well all right so first things first start on the isc squared website and yes of course you know i went through looked at the domains they had some webcast stuff on there i downloaded domains kind of had that printed out and stuff like that but i will say um, at least compared to when I was preparing for the Cisco Cyber Ops, there wasn't as much on their website in terms of um, free content to help you prepare outside of the domains and stuff like that. And the webcast, um, there's a lot more structured content available for free from Cisco. Um, but yeah, this was pretty much all I did here. Just kind of made sure I knew what was going on. I wasn't sure if I was going to wait for this to renew or not, but I was like, ah, I've been studying for this long enough. Let me go ahead and just get it now. Uh, and one of the things I did notice being that the Cisco Cyber Ops just came out, um, what, was it last year or this year, 2021, either way. And this one is from 2018. Um, I definitely saw, even though there was some overlap, there was a lot of stuff that was, I guess you could say, uh, not so much dated, but it was just covering some things that had been updated since then. Like some of the NIST stuff that they were covering had, even though it was the same NIST publications, some of the stuff inside of that had changed and things like that. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, so yeah, I get access through Precipio, which is Skillsoft through my job. So I went through, pulled up different books, mainly books, but I also went through the actual 
um, SSCP course on here and I would answer the questions. And then, you know, if I felt like I had trouble with the questions, I would look up those specific things. So they had questions after each single section um, in here. And then I would go through the course that way and then look up stuff like in these books or stuff like that. This is like a practice test book. This is the actual official study guide. Then I went through some labs. I did some more Wireshark stuff. I did some CISSP labs just because I felt like there would be some good overlap. And that covered stuff. It, it just lets you get your hands on with stuff like Cisco ASA devices and, you know, doing encryption and open PGP and setting up VPN and different stuff like that. So just real good stuff to practice on in general. There's the CBK. Again, I didn't read through those all the way like i did the all-in-one book these were mainly just stuff that i went through and drove down or drilled down on when i needed help and they also had test questions so if i missed stuff i would go through take the practice test take notes and then wiley efficient learning let you access the digital version of the questions that were in some of those books it's mainly the um, official isc squared practice test questions so i went through those did the same thing stuff that i missed i would take notes on study up on um, total seminars this is for the all-in-one and the um the other practice tests pretty much you just had a, a set of different questions for it so i just went through a lot of that stuff as well also did it pro tv and i will say man um it pro tv's course for the sscp was really really detailed there was a lot of information in there and you get downloads and you know handouts and there was some visio diagrams and you know um, vocabulary definitions it was a lot of stuff really helpful i even printed out like a lot of the key topics so like when he goes through um you can see he does key points so he goes through the whole thing and then he does key points so i went through a lot of these so you know i went through a lot of these as far as the key points and then if there was something i wanted to study on I, I would go back but this one was really good and then i also did um linkedin learning mike chapel's sscp which was good uh it was it was it was a good overview it didn't go as deep technically as um the it pro tv but i still thought it was really good and i pretty much went through all of these what i would do with this one is the way they lay this out i would go through say i was learning about malware i would go here do the chapter quiz and if i was good i would just go to the next one um and just see what i know and if it was something specific i like this one because if you take a question and you miss it it'll bring up the video right there for the question that you missed so i would go through that way so i kind of started with the quiz on these and then worked backwards but i went through all that and then another video course that i did was the um, plural site this was a good one i didn't go through everything there either uh mainly kind of use the kaplan practice exams and then use my other resources and stuff to kind of fill in the gaps in terms of what i felt like i was missing but overall man I, i'm really really glad that i did this one like i said i started this one back in 2020 um, and then took a break at the beginning of this year to get the cyber ops then i went back to it definitely not as tool specific or you know it doesn't get as technical as far as knowing how to use the tools and stuff like that like the cyber ops does but it's really a high level exam really make sure you understand it so it's one of those things like i felt like you know having that sys ops experience or having that network engineer experience or having previous security experience definitely helps because it's more of Here's the question. Here's the scenario. What's going to be the best or what's going to be the most or what's going to be the least? Um, and you may have multiple questions that seem right, but there's one of them that's actually the best or one of them that's the most or, or different things like that. So everything that people say about the ISC squared exams um, definitely rang true when I took this one. But I'm glad I did it, like I said, to be able to get into um, ISC squared as an organization and just I, I feel like it'd be a good um, boost to my career as far as continuing education and stuff like that so now i just got to wait and go through the endorsement process and stuff like that but i wanted to share kind of what i used how i prepared and what i thought about it compared to the um, cyber ops exam so they de there definitely is some overlap i do feel like studying for the cyber ops exam helped me prepare for this one um, but uh, they're definitely different and i like them both um, this one kind of is more of a it makes you think more about the theory and the and the policy and all that stuff behind 
security, which is really something I like. And definitely I feel like it's good preparation for uh, moving on to the CISSP in the future, as well as the cloud security stuff as well. So yeah, hopefully this helps somebody out if you're preparing for this. Um, if you got any questions, feel free to ask below in the comments or come over to the website. Link is in the description, jkstechlab.com. And I also have a link to all the stuff that I use as far as studying and, and things like that. So um, until next time, I'll see y'all later.